Who was George Washington Carver? What he wasn't was just the peanut man. He was a revolutionary scientist, artist, and humanitarian who rose from slavery to reshape American agriculture. Born into slavery around 1864 in Diamond, Missouri, Carver was kidnapped as an infant by raiders. His enslaver, Moses Carver, ransomed him back, but his mother vanished forever. This trauma shaped him. I wanted to know the name of every stone and flower, because I love them like people. At 11, he left home to attend school, working as a farmhand and janitor. Rejected from a Kansas college for being black, he homesteaded 17 acres, cultivating 800 plant species, turning barren soil into bounty, a skill that would save the South. At 30, he became Iowa State's first black student and later its first black faculty member. But when Booker T. Washington offered him a role at Tuskegee, he traded prestige for purpose. There, he fought the boll weevil plague by teaching farmers to plant peanuts, sweet potatoes, and soybeans. Rotate the crops, and you'll rotate hope. He converted a mule-drawn wagon into a traveling school, bringing soil tests and peanut recipes to the poorest one-horse farmers. His 44 free bulletins taught them to make paint from clay, coffee from acorns, and shampoo from peanuts. Every dollar saved is pure gain for the man farthest down. During World War II, he advised Henry Ford on soy-based plastics and rubber, freeing the U.S. from Axis blockades. Decades earlier, he shaped Theodore Roosevelt's agricultural policies. He even counseled Gandhi on sustainable farming, yet refused patents. God gave these ideas to me. How can I sell them? He invented 300-plus peanut uses, but not peanut butter. Carver passed on in 1943, penniless by choice. He donated his life savings to science. His epitaph? He found happiness in being helpful, empowering millions. For more black history stories they don't teach in school, click the link in the comments.